he is 35 years old and suspected of killing nine people in a horrific murder spree that could make him one of the top serial killers of Arizona. That's not something you wish to achieve by your mid-30s. Most people would rather have a child, home, job, and significant other by that point, but not Cleophus Cooksey Jr. The man was more interested in murdering human beings, many of which seemed to be unrelated or random people. Cops tagged Cooksey with at least nine first-degree murder charges, and there could be more. He will also face prosecution for other crimes such as theft of a firearm, sexual assault, armed robbery, and acting as a prohibited possessor. He spared no one during his three-week crime spree as he murdered people of both genders. He did not discriminate on race. He killed people of all races from black, Hispanic, and white. He was a man who saw no color except red and his thirst for blood as he sadly murdered nine people. Nine people have lost their lives for no reason other than this man's cynical approach to life and lust for murder. It's sad that one man can end the lives of nine people and change the lives of countless others who were friends and family with the victims. He spent three weeks killing people, and there's no taking it back. The only hope is that the American legal system provides the friends and families of the victims with a justified court decision and closure that can end the nightmare. Fox News provides more information, underscore Cleophus Cooksey Jr., 35, was arrested on December 17, 2017, after police responded to a call of shots fired in Phoenix. When officers arrived they found Cooksey's mother and stepfather dead. Cooksey was not linked to the other homicides until he was in custody, police said Thursday. Underscore, underscore investigators used shell casings to link the other murders, police said. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton said new technology allowed officers to determine the evidence was linked to the suspect quickly. Underscore, underscore Cooksey's other alleged victims include the brother of his ex-girlfriend and various men and women of black, white and Hispanic race and ethnicity. As Central reported. Underscore, underscore the victims include Colin. Underscore, underscore two men, Andrew Ramillard, 27, and Parker Smith, 21, who were discovered dead November 27. Underscore, underscore one man, Salem Richards, 35, was found critically wounded on December 2, and later died at the scene. It was not immediately clear if Richards knew the suspect. Police said there were signs of a robbery at the crime scene and a handgun appeared to have been taken. Underscore, underscore on December 11th, Jesus Bonifacio Real, 25, the brother of Cooksey's former girlfriend, was killed. Underscore, underscore on December 13th, Latori Beckford, 29, was shot and killed. Underscore, underscore on December 16, 2017, Christopher Cameron, 21 was discovered shot to death in a field. Police said Cameron appeared to have meet with the suspect for a drug interaction. On the same day, Maria Villanueva, 43, was found dead. Villanueva was allegedly kidnapped from her car after the suspect approached her vehicle. The two allegedly drove off before Villanueva was found dead with signs of sexual assault. Police said. Underscore. Fox later stated that Cooksey was a seasoned criminal. They reported that he was previously convicted of manslaughter when he was only 18 years old. Just barely an adult and already charged with killing someone is no way to begin adulthood. He went to prison for the crime, and he had a rough time in there as well. He was caught fighting other prisoners, fighting prison workers, and possessing drugs. He later got a DUI after being released from prison. He had a history of breaking the law and it seems like he couldn't ever get his act together. Then one day he tried being a rapper. That didn't work out either, and I suppose that's why he turned to a life of crime. Then again, he was always in trouble for other things before his failed rap career. It's a shame that he didn't put his energy to positive use. He could have done anything with his life, but he continuously broke the law. After you break the law so many times. There should be a time where you gather yourself and think I really can't be doing this anymore and then you become a changed man who follows laws. Not him. Hopefully, the friends and families of the victims get the verdict they desire. Here is Cooksey's rap video. It's not very good. 
you may enjoy reading the comments on it. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily.